Magnetic compasses have an no, a sometimes annoying, but very understandable um, feature in that they don't just point to the grid north, they point towards what you call magnetic north, which are not the same place, rather annoyingly. And in fact, isn't the same place as it was last year. This chart shows how it goes from 1850 to the current day, but just between the turn of the millennium and next year, actually, it's moved a significant distance. So you need to look at the corner of your map and tell what year the de any declination changes are accounting for. Old ones are suspect. Also, just to make sure things are confusing enough, if the North Pole's up there, and you're using your compass over here, the compass isn't really pointing there, it's more pointing there, kind of through the Earth. So, though these USGI compasses are actually very good world compasses, they will work anywhere, other compasses don't. They have problems with the tilt angle, and so with the needle diving and crashing into the compass boundary. So keep aware of that if you use something other than this simple USGI compass. Though your declination chart is going to be in the corner of every map you're likely to use. Some examples in order to see, understand how important it is to look for that. This is the declination changes in North America. Where we are, we're very close to zero, so it's easy to lose track of it, and I'm, I tend to be bad at keeping declination up. But within, North, within the U.S. alone, you can get 20 degree declination changes very easily. And to either side. This is the world declination uh, as of a few years ago. You can see it's extremely confusing, in fact, and so there's absolutely there's essentially no way to predict it if you're dropped at some random point on the Earth. This also has to do sometimes with local variations. There are mountain ranges or something to do with the molten core of the Earth. So you need to use the chart that's either look it up some other way or use the chart that's in the bottom corner of your map, the bottom right-hand corner. U.S. military maps are very convenient in that they show the, scale, the declination chart to scale, by which I mean to two degree scale. Some other maps, for example, Soviet military maps, do not do this. They show it, they indicate which direction, but you have to read the numbers. They show all the angles at 30 or 45 degrees. The date on this one, by the way, is 1972, I guess, 1972. So this one is very suspect, but we're just using it for training. If that was for real, you would never use this map. We're only interested in these, the large line that lines up with the map, which is the grid north line, and it's actually labeled GN, or says the words grid north down below. It lines up directly with one of the grid lines on the actual map that we've been plotting with and otherwise. The other one, we're going to ignore true north for now. The other one is magnetic north. It shows the angle, and it actually lists the angle numerically as well. in both degrees and mils, regarding, regardless of uh, which one you do. Ah, there, apparently the year is not right on the thing. 1970 is when this is. They tend to be uh, every year. Also, you don't have to memorize this video. It tells you how to use the thing right on the chart, just like it does for the grids. To convert a magnetic azimuth to grid, add the G to M, which means grid to magnetic angle. So, if you were told to in your instructions or in your plotting without orienting the map, that you need to march a bearing of 0, 6, 0 degrees. In this particular location, that's not right. You need to add 21 degrees to it. Following this chart, it says add, so you actually need to twist it to 0, 8, 1. And that will be the correct bearing for this particular location. Another thing you might want to do, which does contradict the video that I'll have to fix otherwise, is instead of lining up, orienting the map for plotting your compass by aligning it to any grid line, what you want to do is not as shown here. Don't do that. Instead, you should, especially for anything with the declinations other than zero, which is everywhere, orient the map thusly with the um, edge of the compass along the magnetic north line on the large convenient declination chart. You notice the declination chart is large enough for your compass to fit in on also. Then all your plots will be accurate. 